An electric aircraft, it has been touted as the future of a green aviation industry. Now a pilot school in Sweden is preparing prospective pilots by offering flying lessons on an electric plane. It's an effort to switch to emission-free flights. Here's the complete report. Sweden has committed to making all domestic flights emissions-free by the year 2030. And in the future of a green aviation industry, electric aircraft is perceived as a formidable protagonist. To that end, a new pilot school in Sweden is offering lessons on an electric airplane. Many persons are interested in flying, uh, but they're also interested in the technology in flying and especially the green technology. We also think that the airlines are very interested in this green technology, of course, because of the, the, the flying industries need to do something about the environment too. And this is maybe a first step. What you see here is an electric airplane used for flying lessons for prospective pilots. For things that cannot be taught on this plane, the school also has a four-seater Piper plane option that uses less polluting biofuel. The electric plane has two battery packs, one in the nose and the other in the back cabin, which gives this a range of 50 minutes on a full charge, which takes about 30 minutes. Climate change is real and huge strides in energy efficiency and cutting down emissions are paramount. Even though aviation only contributes to 2.5% of man-made greenhouse gas emissions, steps are needed to wean off fossil fuels and adopt cleaner energy sources. And the hope is that electric aviation might take off soon. Bureau Report, we on World is One. And India, along with many countries across the world, has opened international borders completely now. International and domestic air traffic is increasing by every passing day. How has this overall led to change in aviation and what is the future of aviation? To talk all that and much more today, we're joined by Kishore Jairaman. He is president of Rolls-Royce India and South Asia. Good morning to Mr. Jairaman. First of all, tell us about the future of aviation. What are you working on? I think I, we believe completely on the electrical uh, business model into the future. You know, Rolls-Royce has signed up to the net zero uh, UN Charter, and we will be net zero by 2050 with all our products and with all our factories and with all our thinking. And I think in that, in that whole journey, we're going to see by 2030, all our uh, factories will be net zero globally. And we have already started the journey, right? But in the spirit of net zero, we cannot continue to be fossil fuel driven. And we have to look at electrical options, whether it be hybrid or it is full electric. We have to look at sustainable fuels. And it can only happen when there is complete cognizance that this has to be done for the future of humanity. And, uh, and I'm very happy to say that the first all-electric aircraft has broken a speed record over three kilometer range and over a 15 kilometer range from Rolls-Royce. And this aircraft, we will continue to work on it, we'll continue to scale it up, we'll continue to look at other ways of making even a large aircraft completely electric. But while that is happening in parallel, we are looking at helicopters, and it's called as an electrical vertical takeoff and landing. And basically, it's an all-electric helicopter. It can take about five people. I think the world is fast moving towards flying taxis. And I think that space will have a lot of use for it. And with flying taxis coming up, all electrical EV tolls in the market, it will be a very cleaner transportation that will evolve into the future. And also tell us about the alternate and sustainable fuels. Recently we heard some planes, they have been taking off and flying with cooking oil. Tell us more about the alternate fuels. We are currently 50% compatible with all our trend engines on sustainable alternate fuels. And we'll be 100% compliant very soon. What it means is that today, and I was very, you know, it was very interesting for me because Air France, when I flew back, they made an announcement saying that this flight that you're taking from Paris to Delhi will have less, uh, will have 10% less fuel emissions. And for the first time, I heard a captain come and make an announcement, right? And I thought this is a great uh, step towards making everybody understand that people are focused 
of reducing the carbon footprint. So electrical is going to be it. Along with electrical, digital is going to be the way forward for us. With digital anal analytical techniques, we will build the electrical models, products, much quicker than what we did with the previous fossil fuel powered products. And a lot has happened over the last few years. Uh, how was the years, these years, and how was this time for you? Very tough. Very tough because, you know, we have the wide body aircraft, which predominantly files, uh, flies international routes. And since most of the countries were in a lockdown mode, the borders were all closed and flights were all canceled. It has been very hard for our engines to be flying. But slowly but surely, international travel is opening up. India just opened up and the rest of the world, US has been open for quite some time. Um, Europe, I think, has opened up a lot more. So I believe that international travel is picking up. In 2022, if unless we have anything uh, that becomes, um, you know, touch wood, never happens. But if uh, a new COVID variant or something doesn't show up, I think we are progressing towards a permanent recovery here. And tell us something about the work at your company. How is it going and what are the main things you are developing there? Well, we have a joint venture in Bangalore where we make civil aerospace components. And the components are made uh, from raw material here in India, Bangalore, to a finished product. The product is quality tested in Bangalore and shipped to our factories overseas. And they are directly um, sort of implemented into the engines. So I don't think in the aerospace uh, world, a lot of people are doing that. So we were pioneers in that field. We continue to um, you know, evolve in that field. And I think uh, our factory is doing extremely well here and our quality st standards are very high. And we are number one supplier for Rolls Royce out of India on this particular product category. Well, thank you, Mr. Jairaman, for joining us this morning. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.